Today is a very special video and partially it's going to be an announcement for a project that I'm doing with MSI and EK Waterblocks. Today we're going to take a look at an outstanding motherboard and I'm going to say it right in front because this is the most affordable liquid cooled motherboard that you can get on the market currently. And today we're going to talk about MSI MPG Z590 Carbon EKX with a monoblock that is already uh, in this box. So basically we're going to go, uh, let's say an overview and unboxing uh, of the motherboard and everything that you get inside this box. Let's go. Now, as you can see, we have loads of things going on on this table, but first of all, this motherboard is basically designed for the 11th generation of Intel Core processor. So right here, we have the uh, Intel Core i5 uh, 11600KF, uh, and this is basically the processor that I'm going to use for the project. And of course, we have here also the uh, Intel Core 10th generation i7 10700K, but I'm just uh, using the box here to show you that it can support it. Uh, let's start with the accessories that you get. So you get these standoffs for your M.2 and you have three M.2 slots uh, that you could uh, connect your M.2 SSDs. Now next in line you get a small, uh, I would say this is something to clean your board. You get an uh, EKAF extender rotary for your EK leak tester, which you can connect. And basically, when you're finished with the loop, you can test with the pressure if there's any uh, air going through your pipes. Well, basically, to, through your connection with the fittings. And this is a good way if you're starting out with the liquid cooling systems to check out if there's any mistakes. Of course, you can avoid all of that if you cut your pipes straight and if they go directly to your pipe and you'll basically never have an issue just like I never did. So this is cool and you get of course the pump that connects to your leak tester and this is a cool accessory because it really does cost a lot on their EK website and you get it for free in this box. Next to that you get a small kind of keychain for your uh, screwdriver and uh, this is something cool in addition. You get an USB for your BIOS updates, uh, holes for your leak tester and another valve. Uh, let's see, this is thermal paste uh, and you get screws for tying up the monoblock, uh, thermal pads of course. And here we have loads of booklets, basically uh, you have the stickers, you have the MSI badge, uh, join the MSI reward program, which you could uh, join, of course. You get, this is, let's see, what's this, uh, MSI, thank you for choosing, register your MSI product. What's this, we have here all the other MSI products that you could get, except unfortunately graphic cards, you know the current situation, so I don't have to say. Uh, you can shout out your MSI product and uh, enter the shout out program as well. You have all the instructions right here. Uh, cable labels, which you can uh, cable everything uh, when it comes to fans, RGB and SATA connectivity for easier cable finding, I would say. Uh, quick installation guide, which is quite important when it comes to monoblocks, uh, basically any blocks if you're new to this so you know how to connect everything and of course the instruction manual user guide for the motherboard. When we're talking about some uh, meaningful accessories when it comes to cables, uh, you have the Wi-Fi connection so you get the Wi-Fi antennas and Bluetooth antennas that you could connect to your motherboard and you know the rest. Uh, you have the RGB cable, well this is a thing, addressable RGB, RGB splitter, two SATA cables and you have an additional cable. Now here we go with the main stuff. The monoblock uh, looks really interesting. You have here a small, I would say propeller with the EK logo on top that actually shows you the flow of the liquid inside the loop. You have a nice MPG here logo and the EK logo with carbon 
I would say uh, sticker uh, all around and of course you have the Carbon EKX uh, carved in the plexi part with the MSI uh, additional some sort of a uh, symbols right here and the whole monoblock is really outstandingly uh, designed of course all EK products are well designed there's no flaws in their manufacturing process now when we go to the motherboard the whole design continues with the monoblock and you have the carbon uh, design io shield on the passive heatsink here at the bottom you have three pci express slots uh, which two are have let's say the enforced a reinforced uh, steel uh, body to hold the uh, heavier graphic card, six SATA ports, standard four DIMMs for your RAMs, 24 pin, two 8 pin uh, power for your CPU, and then we have digital 16 plus one plus one power design with Core Boost technology, uh, Mystic lights synchronizing fully addressable RGB LED control distincting carbon aesthetics design which I already said and you get a nice shine on the even the IO cover and the heatsink uh, below and around the PCI Express slots and M.2 that basically these are M.2 shield frozer that cool down your M.2 SSDs now more of the features as I already said, uh, you have the included uh, EK leak tester, so there's uh, worry-free for your first-time experience, LAN manager, audio boost 5, and other gaming-oriented features that you could access. Uh, of course, uh, MSI uh, Dragon Center that you need to download to access all of these outstanding features that MSI usually has with their boards. Now, Next to that, you have uh, integrated monoblock flow indicator. This is the, fa let's say, propeller that I already mentioned, which gives you the idea that your flow is, that your liquid is flowing nicely and steadily. Uh, you get, um, also, which I forgot, and sorry, I already used it, uh, you get a 50 euros or $65 coupon code for your EK shop. And finally, the MSRP of the motherboard is four hundred ninety nine dollars or uh, euros so quite interesting because you get a monoblock which usually costs around 200 euros or even more 250 uh, depending on the motherboard and everything so let's break it down with some specifications of the motherboard so we have the core boost technology combining two times eight pin power connectors and a premium layout design that is ready to unleashing the maximum performance out of your processor, which is outstanding. Uh, you have six layer PCB with two unsticked copper. So uh, this provides higher performance and long lasting system stability without any comp compromises, of course. Audio Boost 5, which is an isolated audio with high quality audio processor and the amp for the most immersive gaming experience. Then we have the power design with uh, digital PWM, MIC and 16 Duet Rail CPU power system with 75 Ampere smart power stage to make sure your system runs smoothly under the most extreme conditions. Uh, as I stated, PCI Express steel armor protecting your uh, graphic card against bending and for better performance, stability and strength. Uh, premium hardware design which I already said MSI is uh, always doing a really nice job when it comes to uh, design and quality and I don't have to mention anything about the EK products because I'm currently using them for over five years and I literally never found a flaw in their uh, manufacturing process, design, quality or any leaks whatsoever. You have the M.2 Shield Frozer which is the next generation M.2 thermal solution to avoid uh, some thermal throttling for your M.2 SSDs and basically to keep the maximum performance. Now when we're talking about the memory modules that you could place, uh, it can go up to uh, 5333 uh, OC, basically XMP profile uh, enabled and this is outstanding because you can go really crazy with megahertz on your RAMs. Uh, it supports four sticks as I already said uh, dual channel and you can go up to 128 gigabytes of RAM. You have incredible 8 PWM connections for your fans 
some of them are a pump fa a pump fan a cpu fan and others are uh, system fans of course uh, when we're talking about the uh, rgb connectivity uh, at the top you have one j rainbow 2 so this is addressable rgb 5 volt stripping header and at the bottom you have two connections but one is a standard rgb 12 volts 4 pin connector you have two usb 2.0 connections internal for i don't know controllers or for your fans or for your rgb so you have loads of this is quite nice because usually you get one so two is more than enough next to that you have a pci power connector right here at the bottom to give more juice to your graphic card and of course uh, j audio and what else we got here the front panel connectors and that's basically it so guys uh, i would say this is quite a remarkable motherboard when we're talking about getting the board right from the box prepared for liquid cooling that covers all the power stages that covers the processor and everything is thought out true for a maximum design performance and cooling now of course the rest you do need to get with the pipes fittings pump uh, radiators and everything else but still this solves a lot of um, i would say uh, concern when it comes to monoblocks uh, compatibility and uh, stuff like that because for instance ek quantum magnitude you have for uh, two uh, xx that's two 11 266 processors from intel then you have 11 5x or 1200 uh, which is for 11th and 10 and earlier generations and of course then you have the amd am4 and for the threadripper so four different blocks that uh if you're checking out for your motherboard that you need to take a look at the compatibility this is already taught through so you don't have to worry about anything guys i'm really excited to show you how this project will turn out with the msi mpg z590 carbon ekx from msi and ek of course with the 11600 kf uh, i'm going to use an msi geforce rtx 3070 supreme x uh, as well msi case msi power supply and some cool cables and a full custom loop by ek waterblocks so guys stay tuned uh, leave a comment click that uh, like button and of course subscribe so you don't miss the project because there will be a time lapse video after all for this one as well thank you for watching stay tuned and i'll see you in another one bye bye